patch 14.8 has brought some exciting meta changes to TFT set 11. Today, we're diving into one of the meta contenders featuring the Dryad Ghostly Comp, which I named the Dry Hard Comp. This comp thrives on the Dryad trait complemented by Ghostly Synergy. We will be having Nar as our main carry, who was balanced a bit in this patch. Now, let's examine the build layout. This will be our final board with 6 Dryad Synergy featuring Nar as our main carry, with Kindred as the secondary carry option. For the tank, we have Orn, and the four ghostly synergize as well with this comp. This board was based on an instance when we get an emblem, we can also see other possibilities when we don't have one in this video. Let's break down everything you need to know about this comp with reference to one of my gameplay. The game started off with the Scuttle Puddle Portal, and for the first augment, I picked Idealism, by which champions holding the Hand of Justice deals increased damage. Now, let us discuss the game plan. So, when to play this comp? If you get a lot of Kindred and Nar copies. If you get any Dryad Augments slash Emblem. What is important to do while playing this comp? 3 star Kindred and Nar being at level 6. If we get an Emblem Rush to level 9 to play Azir. Let's see early game strategy. Play around Dryad or Faded units. Make sure to be on an early win streak. Level up to 4 at stage 2 to 1 or go on a lose streak. In the mid game, add units like Shin. Aleoi and Aatrox. Slam AP items on Kindred and AD items on Nar. Level up to 6 at stage 3 to 2. Slow roll at level 6 to 3 star Kindred and Nar additional can max Shin and Aatrox. Later on at level 8, add Kane and Orn. Adding Azir at level 9, completes the board. Let's get back into the gameplay. As we plan on going for this comp, while spectating, I also saw another player competing with the Dryad Reaper comp, but we got around 20 copies of 2 cost units, so it doesn't matter. After picking a chained vest from the 2-4 carousel, I crafted a Titan's Resolve. I went on an early losing streak and had maintained a solid economy. After getting a few copies of Nar, I moved to level 6 at 3-1 to one round. For the second augment, luckily I got the Tiny Titans, covered Covering the HP lost during the early stage. My NAR quickly became 2 stars. This is one of the strong openers with low cost units in this current patch. That's what stats also says. Orn, Aatrox, Kane, NAR, Rek'Sai and Kindred were all in the list of top units. In the 3-4 carousel, Fortunately I got my early Orn. Then I crafted a Nasher's Tooth for Kindred. In the next encounter, Kha'Zix made the gold required to buy XP from 4 to 3. Then being at level 6 and stacking 40 gold I re-rolled for more copies of my units. But I lost my streak in a close encounter. By 4 to 1 round, using a lesser champion duplicator, I maxed out my Nar then I moved to level 7. My Nar was dealing 10k damage with just 2 items. For the third augment, I picked the Martyr. Other ideal augment choices for this Comp are featherweights, harmacist, team building, heroic grab bag, dried crest, dried crown, mulched, jeweled lotus, and prismatic ticket. Aatrox can be the best dried emblem holder. My competitor had already maxed out his kindred. I lost one of the rounds against the Yorick Augment comp. This one is having great stat in this patch followed by dried augments. We will be doing an analysis video sooner on this augment. Look at Yorick topping all the lists of attacking, defending, and healing. In the 4-4 carousel, I picked a chained vest planning to make an another titan's resolve for Nar. As we touched upon the topic, let's discuss itemization strategy. Our main carry Nar can have items such as Bloodthirster, Titan's Resolve, Sterix Gauge, and Hand of Justice. Our secondary carry, Kindred, can have Rabadon's Deathcap, Jeweled Gauntlet, Giant Slayer, Blue Buff, and Nasher's Tooth. If we plan on playing 6 Dryads early on then we can also give the same items for Azir in the end game. And coming to the tank items, Orn will be the primary tank with ideal items such as Warmog's Armor, Gargoyle Stoneplate, Dragon's Claw, Bramble Vest, Redemption, and Ionic Spark. Excessive tank items go on Aatrox or Aleoi. Now now, let us get back into the gameplay. I haven't made the Titans resolve for Nar, as I waited for a Bloodthirster. Look how dominant this board is against another reroll comp featuring Kogma and Caitlyn. In the next encounter, Yasuo granted bonus HP for units placed in the back three rows. At 4 to 6 round, I moved to level 8. I also managed to beat the meta comp, featuring Kaisa combined with Bruiser trickshots.
Once I got the cane, I activated the 4 Dryad for ghostly synergy. I made a hand of justice for Kane and completed items for Nar. In the next encounter, Jax offered an artifact item, from which I chose an anime visage. Then after a brief rerolling I moved to level 9. Later on, I lost against the Dryad Reaper comp. In the 5 to 4 carousel, I picked a Quicksilver and gave it to Kane. Then I also gave a Titan's Resolve to him. Once again I was dominating against the Bruiser Trickshot opponent with Nar doing more damage than Kaisa. Unfortunately, I got a Bloodthirster very late where I didn't have any removers. After another successful elimination, I entered the top 3. See how dominating this Dryad trait has become, as two players from the top 3 are playing Dryad comps. But out of these two, my comp proved to be strong enough to eliminate them. As I was re-rolling to further strengthen my board, my opponent maxed out the Kaisa. I had to do something in order to win this. I re-rolled for Kane 3. Just one more copy was needed, but the opponent has taken a Kane copy, preventing me from maxing it out. Thus I only got the second position. We also have a decent stat on the meta list. This comp will be dominating the meta in this patch for sure. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you have learned something new and do try it out and let us know in the comments. For more gameplay analysis, subscribe to our channel, Item Swap.